heard a voice uh, in the background. She goes by the name Jesus Girl. Uh, the name is quite um, uh -huh, quite interesting. Mm. She's going to be telling us more about it. Karibu mm, Sana. Thank you so Your much for having me. Your camera is number four. I am excited. Yes, introduce here. yourself, a.k.a. Zako Zote. From back in the day till date. Hey, and AKA your government. Z okay, uh -huh. I go by jesusgirl.ke, uh -huh. aka Dora. If uh -huh. you want to call me by my mother tongue uh, name, uh -huh. Maulo. Maulo. Obwaka. Maulo Obwaka. What does Maulo mean? I shall, you shall revert. You shall revisit. By the end of the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm sorry. But it's something nice. It's I'm something sure. nice for I'm sure. sure. All right. Sure. So Dora the Explorer. Mm. Oh, you're just Dora. I you don't I've explore. I've grown up with that one. Uh, you've grown Dora up. Dora the Explorer. Dora, always. Nishazo, yeah. Were you a fan of the, the cartoon character? Mm, I don't even think growing up there you was Dora it. the Explorer. We had th like three channels. Okay. You know. Like <laughs> that, <laughs> Dora the Explorer. I don't mean Leona by that. I watched it much later in life. things kids have to do. Uh -huh. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Shout out. Imagine. Thank you Wine so the morning much. On Social Friday. Please share with them your social media handles so they can stalk you while we do this. Okay. On Instagram, it's jesusgirl.ke. And on YouTube, it is jesusgirl. Period. Jesusgirl. Period. Straight. Yeah. Lockdown straight. Yeah. All right. I'd like to take you back. But before I take you back, mm. let's start in the present. Mm. Jesus Girl is, uh, is quite a name. Yeah. Where does it come from? Uh, why Jesus Girl? And uh, just just tell me everything. Yeah. I, I need to okay, know. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, my name is Chanawa Yesu. Uh -huh. I am a girl that belongs to Jesus. Jesus uh, is taking all of them. Yeah? Jesus is taking <laughs> all of them. Uh -huh. You know? Uh -huh. um, but basically why I called myself Jesus Girl was because I feel like in this day and age, a lot of people are are downplaying or afraid to declare their stance when it comes to being a Christian. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but people have this idea of what a Christian girl, mm -hmm. millennial, millennial girl, mm -hmm. should look like. Mm -hmm. You know, the long skirts, mm -hmm. zinaninim, mm -hmm. down on the ground. Trousers, um, equipment, you, uh, you know, you uh know, -huh. and then um, polar necks, lazima zikwe, mm -hmm. uh -huh. shingo. Uh -huh. um, you know, just these false ideas mm -hmm. of what a Christian girl should mm -hmm. look like. Mm -hmm. And because of those false ideas, uh -huh. people are really put off from Christianity. Uh -huh. so my it whole pushes thing, people away from, exactly. from the light, from the blood. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> I like that, from the blood. Mm -hmm. um, because people are looking at do's and don'ts uh -huh. as opposed to relationship. Uh -huh. You know, religion versus relationship. So uh -huh. basically, I wanted to show you can be young, you can be trendy, you can be cool, uh -huh. you can do your makeup. Uh -huh. I, I love and it. you can still love uh -huh. Jesus and serve him. Uh -huh. You know? So that is a message you appreciate. That is that is how you're serving the yeah. Lord. Yeah. Uh -huh. By just showing uh, this journey can be cool as well. Exactly. And that is the reason for the name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Wow. <laughs> That's deep right there. Jesus Girl is in the building. <laughs> Check out on Instagram. Check us out on Instagram as well. Yeah. Uh, on Facebook, on Twitter, Kukama Y254 channel. And our topic of conversation is the most embarrassing thing in your browser history. Jesus Girl is going to, to be sharing hers with us as well. All right, I'm taking you back now. Mm -hmm. Before you were Jesus Girl, mm -hmm. you're one of the, the most promising femcees and singers in the country. Mm. You've worked with the A-list uh, femcees in the country, from mm. MDQ to Ecstatic, who, whom I'm a very big fan of, mm. uh, STL. Mm. You have a song together on YouTube. Check it out, by the way. Go to YouTube and check it out. This is not made <laughs> up. We never make up stuff. Uh, tell me about this phase of your life. Um, yeah, at that time in my life, I was 17, young. Mm. And 17. 17. Wow. 17, my last year of high school. Uh -huh. You know, Nilikwa Najiona, superstar. Uh -huh. um, just living my life. Um, uh -huh. I love music. I love uh -huh. to sing, to rap. Uh -huh. And so at that time, that's what I was doing. How in did you and meet all the these studio. guys? Um, just connections here uh -huh. and there. I was at also, 17. Yes, at you had 17. the confidence to and walk up to SD Health. Me, me, me uh -huh. Like, I was just like, you know, I'm a go getter, uh -huh. and so I. 
I, I reached out to people, in fact, through social media. Uh -huh. Still, that time, it was mainly Facebook, uh -huh. but reached out in that space. And I was in a studio, so uh -huh. my producers had connect. Uh -huh. And that's how I got hooked up to STL, Ecstatic, uh -huh. Madoni Drama Queen, uh -huh. and, and other artists. It got to a point you put that down, yeah? Yeah. All right. Uh, mm -hmm. What made you stop doing the music? Um, well, I was partying. Uh -huh. um, I, I love Like a rock star. Yes. So my whole motto, <laughs> mm -hmm. my whole motto was work hard, play hard. Uh -huh. But as I continued to, to play, play hard, hard I it played affected harder. The uh -huh. You know, I continued uh -huh. to play harder. <coughs> and so it affected, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. it affected the work. Uh -huh. And, um... I just found myself not interested uh -huh. and I lost confidence uh -huh. and I, I just felt like, you know, the, yeah, All rapping right. and singing is nice, but it's not as nice as, uh -huh. as you know, some other things as that you were. some other things All that right. I was discovering at the <laughs> right, at that age. moment. Okay, so you have, uh, the, there's a phase of your life that you were addicted to drugs. Mm -hmm. Which one came first, the music or the drugs? I think they came at around the same time. Mm -hmm. You know, as I entered the studio, there was this culture of just turning up. Mm -hmm. Like you could go into the studio they call and there it was the always... Zone. I hear they the call zone. it the zone. Let yeah. Get in the zone. Yeah. I oh, don't know yeah. what this yeah. zone is. <laughs> this zone is like, you know, a place where like you're floating. Like uh -huh. you're neither N on earth and neither, neither in heaven. You don't... <laughs> Yeah, um, not there. <laughs> All right. So it came. They came at the same time, mm -hmm. drinking and partying, mm -hmm. as well as being in the studio. Mm -hmm. Plus, I felt like when I'm rapping, you know, you asked about the confidence. Mm -hmm. Um, I found that alcohol and weed and cigarettes would give me that, mm -hmm. you know, that, that confidence. confidence. Uh -huh. You know, so uh -huh. they they came at the same time. They came at the same time. Yeah. All right. So, uh, uh, at what point? Mm. Did you feel like, okay, this is becoming a problem? This is no longer the zone anymore? This is no longer uh -huh. <laughs> the, the fun times. They uh -huh. call them fun times. This, this is no longer fun times. Um, and did you discover it yourself or a close person, somebody who's close to you, told you, okay, you need to love you, bye? Um, I think uh -huh. at, uh, it was definitely noted by other people first. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing about addiction. Uh -huh. People can see you have a problem, uh -huh. but you are Gioni. Uh -huh. Like, it's like you can't you feel see amazing. yourself. Yeah, you uh -huh. just feel like I'm, I'm on top of things. But uh -huh. people can see you like, Uli Lala Kwamtaro yesterday, uh -huh. you did this. Uh -huh. And you, you're just like, ah, mini kopoa, sina shida. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. um, so definitely other people saw the problem first. Uh -huh. And um, I got to see it later on uh -huh. yeah you got to see it later on yeah all right when you were telling me about uh music not being very interesting to you at some point mm -hmm. what, do you blame the drugs as well also um yeah for sure definitely so these drugs are responsible for taking somebody in the zone making amazing music mm -hmm. and then also making you lose your interest in the music exactly what is this? I don't even know what it is. Because in the beginning, you're able to control. Uh -huh. So you're saying, I'll only drink this much. You're not even taking a lot. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's a side thing. Uh -huh. But eventually, it becomes the thing. Uh -huh. So I find if I get to the studio, there's no, there's no mzinga there. Uh -huh. Nafanya nini? Like, what am I doing in the studio? <laughs> so basically, the point of going to the studio now became drinking, drinking. and whatever. Uh -huh. So that became the object of my my uh -huh. focus okay yeah so as an artist it's very important to understand what you're doing and why you're doing it exactly exactly okay and also having the confidence in yourself where you're like i don't need a substance uh -huh. to give to. me confidence uh -huh. in my ability or people say you know to get creative uh -huh. you must you tune uh -huh. as you know, know. Oh, you know yeah. but you should be able to on your own uh -huh. have that creative flow i feel like i like that rehab four times mm. oh yeah wow if rehab was a school Ninge kuwa ni mepata PhD. Let's just say that. <laughs> to say me. I, lo I love you. I love you. Oh. All right. And self is deep. Uh, so take me <laughs> to the first time into rehab. Because mm -hmm. uh, for you to go back the second time, you relapsed. Yeah. Uh, so, that, yeah. so tell me, wh wh why did you relapse the first time? Wh what what yeah. can you blame? The fact that I wasn't 
willing to change. Mm -hmm. You know, something about um, change, it has to come from yourself. Uh -huh. Like no one can force you, no one can beg you, Aki uh -huh. uh -huh. you watch it, I, I you, get you, get you know. Uh -huh. No one can will you into change. Uh -huh. It's actually you yourself coming to realize that, hey, this uh -huh. thing is not pelekaing me well. Uh -huh. So what am I going to do? I need to do something about it. Uh -huh. So for me, I just always felt like I was being promised stuff, like, uh -huh. oh, if we stop, you know, we'll take you here uh -huh. to end up my yellows, uh -huh. you'll do this, you'll uh -huh. do that. Um, and so I didn't really internally want to change. Uh -huh. And because of that, I always felt like I can stop smoking weed and cigarettes and all this stuff, but you know, let me drink kidogo. Let me just mm. have my glass of give, um, give, give, that thing. Yeah. Mm. That thing. That <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> don't specify. Yeah, don't specify. We don't need yeah. 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 The, the thing. Uh -huh. mm? Your uh -huh. So I thought, you know, I can I can stop all these other things. Like all my friends are drinking. Mm -hmm. So why not just like. You know, just a taste just of it. Just kidogo, kidogo. Right. But the decisions you make when you're sober versus the decisions you make when you're drunk, I get you. Are completely different. So just different. the first when you when you take the first glass of whatever, yeah, it will probably lead you to taking another drug that you yeah, exactly. probably wouldn't have taken if you were sober. Exactly. So that is your first relapse story. Yeah. And and that really happened the second and the third time. It starts with the alcohol, just the alcohol. Let me just get some alcohol. Yeah. And then it leads to the other drugs that you used to do before you went to rehab. Yeah. But one one thing I didn't mention as well is uh -huh. when I was getting into this music space and uh -huh. I um, was starting to experiment, I uh -huh. got into a relationship with an older guy. Uh -huh. So he was 22 at the time. He was actually my producer. Uh -huh. I was 17. Uh -huh. and, and that exposed me to you know, to so many things. So even as I talk about escalating in terms of use, uh -huh. it's because I moved away from student budget, you know, 17 is still uh -huh. the, the whatever uh -huh. of uh -huh. the parents. Uh -huh. So I moved away from that and I was able to drink on a regular basis, uh -huh. smoke on a regular... Because he had some cash. Exactly. Uh -huh. So even the times that um, I would get sober, I was still in this relationship, uh -huh. right? And he was turning up, he was drinking, he was uh -huh. smoking, and so... It's very hard to smell it and not, but it, yeah, especially exactly. if you've tasted it exactly. before. Exactly. So or that turned out to be a six-year relationship. Uh -huh. uh, um, and eventually, even when I was now coming out of of drugs for good, that mm -hmm. was one of the things that I had to uh -huh. make a decision. You know, like, uh -huh. uh, like... Love. Yeah. Or me. Yeah. Say the love or yeah. my survival. Yeah. But you picked survival. Yeah, I picked And survival. you're alive and kicking today. Yep. All right. So uh, relationships are also very important when it comes to addiction. So important. Because yeah? the, the, your better, uh, your other half, let me say your other half. <laughs> Not better half. <laughs> Your other half is uh, is a big influence to you. All right. True, true, true. Okay, I feel that. I, I usually say that our relationship is so important in that it can either take you towards your destiny or uh -huh. comple completely pull you away from your destiny. Uh -huh. So it's or very important yeah. to pick them wisely. Yeah, who you decide to uh -huh. nini with. Huh? You California. have you seen like have you seen like there are these artists mm -hmm. like let's t take someone like um Ciara right mm -hmm. Ciara when she was with Future versus Ciara with the person she's with now that rugby player Russell uh -huh. CG My Future is a special case No do you like him? No, is 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 just his his toxicity his level toxicity. is. But okay, yeah, <laughs> maybe it's just future. But <laughs> really, if you look at different, like you can become a different person uh -huh. because of the person you're with. All right. Like you, you can find a girl who will make you party every day. Uh -huh. Then you can find another one. Who makes you come to work on time? Uh -huh. Like you just find you oh. have your stuff together. Right. You're just, you know, like it's so influential. And most the of way. the time people will, will not go for the one who will make you go to work in Exactly. Time. <laughs> or go to church. <laughs> Nothing like <laughs> <I see. laughs> Yes, we are with Jesus Girl in the studio. This is Social Friday on Y in the morning. Remember, the conversation is still on Facebook. And you can direct your questions to her if you have any about these topics that we are touching on with her. All right, so the fourth time, let's keep to the fourth time you mm. went to rehab, and this is the last time you went to rehab. Yeah. Uh, how long ago was this first? Um, I, I went in 2018. Uh -huh. 
Yeah. Yeah. November 2018. No. So it's a one year program, which uh -huh. is quite different from what I had known before. Uh -huh. Most programs are three month, three month, uh -huh. but this is a one year faith based uh -huh. rehabilitation uh -huh. program. Um, faith based. Faith based. So you're taught the word in the process also. Exactly. Uh -huh. We believe that the word of God is what sets someone free. Uh -huh. As opposed to do, don't do. Do, do don't and do. Don't. Yeah. And I realized, I tried the other. That's ironic because the word of God is also a lot of do's and don'ts. It's not so, well, okay, yes, there's some do's and don'ts, obviously, uh -huh. like a guiding, just like in Kenya, the way you have laws uh -huh. of like don't steal and uh -huh. whatever. But the thing about with God, you're not, you're not being manipulated or you're not doing things out of fear. Uh -huh. It's because of the love you have for him uh -huh. that drives you to just align yourself. You know, uh -huh. you don't, you're not, it's a free will thing uh -huh. and you're not like being like uspofanya, uh -huh. you know, utaenda kwa shaitan. Kwa shaitan. Shaitan. I will you. So faith based it yeah. is. All right. So, uh, this is how you got to be Jesus girl. In this this is, yeah, it, it's it definitely played a big role in my being Jesus girl, if uh -huh. I could say that. Mm -hmm. um, because I just was like, you know what? No matter <coughs> what I do going uh -huh. forward, I never want to lose my foundation. Uh -huh. And I'm so glad I did that because having come out of uh, rehab last year, you know, I didn't anticipate uh -huh. being a public figure mm -hmm. i didn't think oh i'm going to now do social mm -hmm. media mm -hmm. and uh -huh. all this stuff do media tours inspire talk to people exactly you, uh. yeah well i i thought i would speak to people but i didn't anticipate uh -huh. the response uh -huh. i didn't think by now my platform on instagram would be having almost forty thousand people uh -huh. i didn't think i would be having subscribers uh -huh. or all this stuff mm -hmm. so it's very easy to lose yourself when over the span of just a few months, uh -huh. you find yourself in a space where, it's, you know, uh -huh. it's just like... People are watching. You know, you people are watching. Yeah. Uh, there are people you, uh, you're you being look up to. You're being by brands. Uh -huh. You're making money. Uh -huh. that, that can be a stumbling block if you're not careful. Oh, money is coming in as well, huh? I mean... <laughs> it is what it is. It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. <laughs> I like Okay, so uh, the fourth time was the last time, and that last. was last year. I know it. All right. Uh, how, I'd like to know how this affected your relationship with your family. Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely it Why, put a strain uh -huh. when Why I Were you the type to say, get the uh, hell out? Leave me alone, or you yeah. were the type to listen. And I mean, I was bad. Let me <laughs> tell you, when people see me right now, when I cook a Jew and a I don't wait, even wait. have to preach. They are like, you, you're the same. Mungu I see, mwema. I see. Mungu, it's a walking testimony Mungu, right Mungu, right there. Mungu, <laughs> Jew, the place I have come from. Uh -huh. Let me tell you, uh -huh. I was the type of person who was not able to be told anything. Uh -huh. Me, if I'm, I want to be bad, uh -huh. I'd rather, I can't be warm, uh -huh. hot or cold. Come by and buy. If I'm good, you let me be good. You know. So I never used to apologize or means that uh -huh. I'm trying to hide that in Navuta Bang. I was very open. Uh -huh. I was very you Out know. There. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it put a strain on my relationship with my family mm -hmm. and I didn't like to be around them because uh -huh. I didn't you want have two anyone. Sisters, yeah? Three. Three sisters. Yeah. Uh, one has been on set here by the way. One has, Oh yes. really? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. Who? Uh, yummy, the yummy one. <laughs> <laughs> yummy mommy. Yes. Um, yeah, so I never used to hang around them because I didn't want someone to tell me, oh, you're smelling like this. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, your breath is cigarette. Your nini, nini, nini. Uh -huh. So I used to put uh, quite a distance. Uh -huh. And obviously there was a strain in our relationship. But oh. ever since rebuilding of the relationships has been so amazing, uh -huh. right now it's like... All right. Yeah. There's this saying, <laughs> never trust a junkie. Mm. You've heard it, right? Yeah. You've heard it a number of times. Mm -hmm. And don't. Oh. <laughs> like it's a true one. It's, it's a, a true, true don't. No. Addicts are very manipulative. Do you know how many things I have lied and gotten away with? I've been to driving school like four times. Four <laughs> so I used times. to tell my mom, mm -hmm. I can't fail. Lazima ni rudie. And that time she's giving me, like, it, like I... That is... <laughs> 
that yeah. you, the the hustle for <laughs> drug money is exactly. very you're only thinking about where will i get my next uh -huh. fix and you know it gets to a point where if you don't take the drug uh -huh. you go through what they call withdrawal symptoms uh -huh. that's your body's reaction to uh -huh. not taking the drugs it affects your emotions as well physically uh -huh. kwanza for heroin withdrawal symptoms uh -huh. i would not wish it on my worst enemy right. like that thing is bad headaches running stomach mm -hmm. fever shakes like it's bad so oh you're right. only thinking about where can i get my next fix so uh -huh. i can to lizard the symptoms thank you very much for that one right now you're doing some amazing work with mummy yes uh, was uh, a very uh, huge part in your recovery and yeah, your journey was, yeah. uh, tell us more about this rehabilitation programs that you are running and the centers Okay, so um, I serve part-time at a facility called Teen Challenge Kenya. That's uh -huh. where I went to. Um, and it's a one-year faith-based uh -huh. program, as uh -huh. I've said, um, that helps men and women uh, who are going through various <coughs> life-controlling issues. You know, addiction is not see a drug speke. Uh -huh. Kuna ya chakula? Your life. Kuna ya simu? Kuna ya yes, pornography? Yes, I've seen. There's yes, simu I've seen. <laughs> There's addiction to pornography as well. Yes. So how does that work? You walk in the streets and then you be like, I need to watch some. <laughs> huh? I need you to. Find somebody, I can't wait to get to the house and watch some. Somebody mob. Okay. That is what happens. Okay. So if somebody goes to the toilet a number of times, you should be very afraid. I see, but uh, okay, list uh, the other, the other forms know, of addiction. Yeah, food, money, money. Money is an, a big addiction. Yes. And my brother is going <laughs> that direction. <laughs> okay, so kuna different forms of addiction. Exactly. And uh, at this place, Teen Challenge, yeah. uh, the, should I say cured? Or. <laughs> um, healed. Whole. Okay. You know, All right. Yeah, those those types of words. And then you know, um in other rehabilitations when you come out you're always termed a recovering addict. Uh -huh. As we believe, once you're set free, uh -huh, you're free. Not that like people say, Oh me, I'm set free in Tenda Kwa Club, ni uh -huh. Fanta. Uh -huh. You know, I just no, that is foolishness. Uh -huh. But it doesn't mean also now through life you tiptoe like, Haya, kuna pombe. Haya, uh -huh. ana pombe. <laughs> no, see, like see. you're free, uh -huh. but you walk with wisdom. Uh -huh. You put boundaries that uh -huh. help you You have to your self-control. Yeah. So it, Jesus yeah. helps in that aspect. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, um, there's a verse that says that it is not by power or by might, but uh -huh. it is by the spirit of the living God. And basically, uh -huh. us as humans, tuna jiona, tuko ju sana, uh -huh. but really, we are really we're just, just animals. Yeah. Uh. Animals. <laughs> <laughs> animals, sasa. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we're just, uh, yeah, just animals. Yes, um, you know? And, and so we need the help. Uh -huh. of God. We cannot do anything. And usually people wait to reach rock bottom then wanna uh -huh. like God, I need your help. Uh -huh. But the other times they're just seeing themselves well, as La Vida you know? Loca. They don't even <laughs> talk to God. They don't even call you his know. number. Um <laughs> but but that's human nature. It's sad but it's right. true. So yeah. wonderful. Uh, so if somebody uh, is living with an addict, somebody is seeing some uh, a loved one or a friend or a relative going uh, in on a path that uh, doesn't seem uh, very promising, how can they get to be part of Team Challenge and how can they get uh, access to the services that you guys are offering there? Um, Just look them straight into the eyes. Okay, so you're able to reach out to Teen Challenge. We have a website. You can just Google Teen Challenge Kenya. Thank God for mm -hmm. internet. Uh -huh. Everything is at your fingertips. Mm -hmm. Google Teen Challenge Kenya. Facebook is also Teen Challenge Kenya. You'll be able to find emails and also contacts for both the Nairobi centers and the Nakuru center. Oh, so there's a center in Nairobi and a center in Nakuru. Yes. All right, and you told me it's for ladies. There's one for ladies uh -huh. and there's Street. two centers for men. Or two centers for men mm. and one center for ladies. Mm. Men wanna 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 w
But there's this thing called war on drugs. You've heard yeah. of it? Yes. America has its own war on drugs. Kenya has its own war on drugs. drugs. Africa, war on drugs, war on drugs. And I'm told now it's even worse because some of them in you know, a pharmacy legally. You know, over the counter. You over the counter. Still as in the pedis, you are what is the secret to winning this war on drugs? As somebody um, with direct experience with it. Do you because th I think we're just going around it and not yeah. actually attacking the the real problem. I think the number one way to winning the war on drugs <laughs> is acknowledging the fact that there's drugs a war. exist. There's a battle. You <laughs> yeah. know, a lot of us to to go to up are like, <laughs> oh kuna <laughs> like uh -huh. or you're living with somebody who's going through it but you turn a blind eye mm -hmm. like ah you know people like just especially moms like to justify for their son ah, ah, gonna, ni, ugonjo flani too. Mm -hmm. but then the, the person is phase but really they are going through it so i feel like the first thing is acknowledgement mm -hmm. second thing is realizing that as i said before we are powerless mm -hmm. honestly and truthfully completely powerless all the power is is god's mm -hmm. you know and then um putting measures in place that will remove would i say remove accessibility but yeah more you know me i used to buy alcohol in the store when i was underage uh -huh. i never used to be asked for id uh -huh. maybe it's because i'm a chick i don't know uh -huh. But these things are very important. Now you realize that uh, identification when you're buying alcohol exactly. is very important. Putting Prescription measures, from exactly. a doctor when you go to a pharmacy, exactly. it's very important. Yeah. Uh, so measures, Ioni, kwa serikali. Exactly. All right. Uh, so uh, I think uh, we are going to stop it at that because you need to... Kuna kituli promise to inside your Do you remember? Yeah, reading comments. Yes, and another one? Yeah, I... Browser history? We'll revisit that. What can we right. say? What can we say? <laughs> we'll revisit that. Okay. So let's head straight to Facebook. Uh, Jesus girl is in the building. She's going to be helping us uh, to read these comments out loud to the rest of the world. Uh, so the question was simple. What is the most embarrassing thing in your browser history? Uh, Facebook, Y254. I'm at Y254 channel. So the first person is uh, Briolasis. Uh, let's check it away, uh, Miss Jesus girl. Briolasis says, what? Wow, sure, you got fire. Uh -huh. And then a fire emoji. Uh -huh. And why son, Brio kutoka kisi masimba? Utasoma pole pole kidogo. You're, you're coming. Don't take my job. But you don't take your job. Slow down, kid. <laughs> <laughs> from from Cyrus Comos as a big up uh, people history I guess because uh, X X X extension <laughs> you know X extension no. <laughs> oh it's a it's a rapper that rested in this <laughs> okay <laughs> from Cyrus Comos and as a play for me Jericho by Zimi and Pato Rankin uh, if we have time we are definitely going to sample that play for me the Zuma uh, Biotile Ukona request Mili we are going to play one to Valley. all right uh, Jesus girl uh, take it away. K Kelvin Badu Kwebo. Yes, he says, play for me Tofauti by Butros. Please. Hey, Please. Nomba. Nomba sana. But <laughs> Khalifa is, is, is a club <laughs> music guy. So I hope it begs. Uh, uh, Sarah Nyamu hey. anasema Khalifa unatesa ni cheze teamo by Rayvani. Khalifa yeah. talala leo kweli? Sioni ni kilala. Okay, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Take it away. <laughs> okay. Kuzilian King uh -huh. says show eco on fire voy well represented conde boy at at jeshi uh -huh. he come through yani uh -huh. he come through slide he slide he slide all right uh ni ko api niki kirwas ya kavela Oh, kwa Kavela. Kwa 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 Kavela. Uh, oh, oh, this is Skip Kavela. Kavela mm. and the future and some Kavela from Meru Hood uh, to go locked by and go to Mbogi or te, oh, Mbogi. Oh, that's how you write Mbogi, yo? Oh. Okay. Wow. Wow. You learn a new thing every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Mbogi at Texas. The request is going to be Bong Famia. Nikki Kirwa says, watching from Kericho. Hey, mm. there's some, the people are all over. Yes, Wakot, man. Represent Wakot. for your county uh, to the max. Kule Skid uh, Jones watching live from Tai. Eh, coast to coast, my guy. Taita Taveta County, Mtani, Mwatate. 
coastal names are very sweet and mm. uh, letable. Yeah. <laughs> the place be tuko ndani sana. True sana. Yeah. Realist X smoke without an E. Hashtag social Friday. Hashtag why in the morning. Request Pedi Benso na sanitizer ethic. Uh -huh. Which mm. one did you pick? Ethic. You're going to play ethic. Ethics. You like yeah. that is lack of favor, Chris. And I say, well, Good morning. This is our favor, Nikua Kirinyaga Moya. And be a shout out to all my fans who are social Friday. Nicheze Moja Mausa. Take it away. Okay, Linda Queen Shamu says, Good morning. This is Linda from Eldoret. Show in a kill, yani in a murder. Mm -hmm. I'm going to stop you from reading these comments. You're reading them so well, man. Brand Kame, oh yeah, DJ Nichezem Baumba, Nguizi, Najifu. The last one, let's travel. Okay, okay. Brian Kame says, Good morning, guys. Ni Brian, shout out to DJ Khalifa, uh -huh. watching from Nakuru County. Hapo history, Nsha Patikana Hapo. Kwa Johnny Sims. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I, uh, but I, I don't know. I, know. I don't think I want to know. I don't know what that is as well. <laughs> and I don't think I want to know. So thank you very much, Jesus God, for coming through. Uh, let's give me DJ Khalifa a chance to share his, uh, his uh, magic with the rest <laughs> of the people. Tell them how they can uh, grab your mixes. Uh -huh. Na Killing Happen Saturday. Uh, Killing Happen Saturday. Party from home. Uh, yeah, party party from home, home, party from, safe. Yeah, from. 10, I'm at 11, uh -huh. sana, till Bakasu. We then make sure when you follow Instagram, Twitter, Tinder, everywhere. Uh -huh. DJ, okay. I told you this guy, uh, <laughs> <laughs> these skinny guys. No, 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 mess it up. I cannot be DJ Khalifa, Wiz Khalifa, all the Khalifa. You know. Anyway, this has been quite a ride from 7 a.m. I decided to see Raisi. I have to appreciate you guys. Now, all of us say, I'm to my comments on our Facebook page here too. And I'm to be a place I want to watch from. We love you so much. Uh, Jesus. Go. I'll give you one last chance to share with them your social media handles yeah. and anything that is coming up soon uh, in your books. Okay, Sawa Sawa, you can follow me again on Instagram, jesusgirl.ke <laughs> and subscribe to my YouTube channel, it's jesusgirl. KE, I'm always uploading content out across a kitu. Uh -huh. You'll just, you, you you're never sorted. Miss kitu. You're sorted. Kitu Safi. But see, Ilea, <laughs> see, see, <laughs> see, see, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, so we have come to the end of this. Uh, VDJ Khalifa, on behalf of everybody who made this possible, Sarah, Tisha, Manuel, Wakiwakuleju, my engineer, Miriam, uh, shout out to Kilam uh, This has been real. My name is Barry Moses, or it's Barry Moses, social media platform. Until next time. <laughs>